Good afternoon. You're looking at SpaceX's Super Heavy Booster number nine ahead of its first static fire from Starbase, Texas in just under two minutes from now. For those of you following along, it's been three and a half months since our first integrated flight test of Starship. In that time, the teams worked on multiple improvements to the booster, as well as the pad systems and infrastructure, which we will be testing out today, in addition to a new startup sequence. Most visual not noticeable upgrade to look for this afternoon is the new water-cooled steel flame deflector, a water deluge system aimed at protecting the pad against the immense heat and force of a Starship launch. Today's test is to static fire the super heavy first stage. We are not looking to lift off today. That means the engines will not throttle up to full power. That would happen after a liftoff. But even at the power of today's test, Super Heavy will have more thrust than Falcon Heavy does at full power during its flight. Now from start of ignition of the first bank of engines through shutdown of the last engines, today's test will run just under five seconds. Prop load started at T minus 67 minutes. Now while we're fully loading locks today, we're only doing a partial load of the methane fuel, just enough to support the short test. You may notice frost over most of the locks tank but just a portion of the methane fuel tank. Minus 40 seconds. We've heard the announcement for flight director. We're past the 40 second hold point if needed. T minus 30 seconds. 30 seconds, let's listen in to the last half minute of the countdown of today's static fire. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, you saw the countdown, the water deluge system, ignition of the super heavy first stage. Right now, we're waiting to hear uh, over the countdown now. We reached a test duration of 2.74 seconds with four engines shutting down prematurely. Heard a call out over the countdown net. Here's we we're still waiting to find out the duration of the test. We did hear the call out that we had four engines shut down during the test, but we're gonna continue to monitor for another minute here in case flight director has any information over the booster countdown net.
we've been listening to the booster countdown net, but we haven't heard the flight director come back up yet. We did hear the one call out that we got into the ignition of the 33 engines. It sounds like we had four that did shut down during the ignition, but we've not heard any other follow up. Uh, we do know uh, from uh, other discussions, uh, the pad looks good, the launch vehicle looks good, and right now the team is going to plan uh, for proceeding into the regular propellant offload of the methane and liquid oxygen propellants on Super Heavy. So right now, a big congrats to the Starship team for getting through today's test. And with that, that moves us another step closer to our next flight test. And for, that, for today, we're going to close the webcast out. Be sure to follow our social pages as we uh, look to post additional information on today's test. And with that, thank you for joining us and have a good day.